Hi everyone, welcome to Max Art Place. I'm so glad that you visit me today. I've been very disappointed lately. I haven't been able to upload videos. Um, one thing I'm really disappointed in my paintings of late, uh, I had a very small stroke again and it kind of wiped out some information of how I mixed my paints. So I've been fooling around trying different pouring mediums and paints and I haven't liked any of it. And also, if you can see how tired I am, I didn't know that dogs could get Alzheimer's. And it's so distressing. I have a 13-year-old poodle. I named her Pickles. I've had her for 13 years. And she has developed Alzheimer's. And I asked the vet, you know, what was going on with her because she was really acting goofy. She'd go up to the doggy door and stand there and cry like couldn't figure out how to open it. So I'd have to open the flap for her and uh, she would go out. Sometimes she'll come in, sometimes she'll stand outside at the door and bark. Um, she does other things differently, but one of the worst is she has her days and nights mixed up. So all night long, I have to wake up. As soon as I hear her get out of the bed, go open the flap. If she barks, I have to open the door. I have to keep all the doors shut in every room in the house so she doesn't go to the bathroom in, her room, in the rooms because that's what she'll try to do if a room door is open rather than stand there at the doggy door. So it's quite distressing and disappointing and hurtful because I don't know how this is going to last, but it has been interfering in me trying to do videos and paint. So it's very stressful and I hope it ends soon but not in a negative light she's been sick for the last two days and i'm going to take her to then drop her off at the vet tomorrow let's see if there's anything they can do to help her feel more comfortable but as you can see by my little baggies under my eyes that i'm having a tough time with it so today i thought i would go back to uh, some of the bottles that i've mixed before and uh, I got a new blow dryer and I'm going to try and do a Dutch pour. Uh, I'm going to split it. I'm going to black on one side, white on the other, and some nice colors on an angle and see how this dryer works. And uh, it's a very pretty dryer, as you'll see. And I hope it does a pretty job. So stick with me and I hope I haven't complained too much and see what happens. Love you guys. So this is a 16 by 20 canvas and I've been using dog food containers on the bottom as my supports and they're pretty nice because you can get the dry paint off of them. And I'm going to use a white on this angle and Sargent's black on the other. Um, the tag fell off the bottle. I don't know what white paint it is, so you'll have to pardon me, please. And the white I'm going to use in the colors, this is a satin white. And this is a rich art purple mixed with Floetrol. And the tag fell off of this green, so I'm not sure what that is. And Soho Magnese Blue with glue and water. And this is my gold asset powder with Floetrol. And I'm using a lot of different brand paints to see how they come out. This is Art Supply Blue Gold Iridescent. And it's mixed with uh, Floetrol and glue and has some GAC in it. GAC 800. This is Arteza's uh, Pearl Copper Gold, and that's 
got deco art uh, pouring medium. I've put my colors in a cup to try to make sure that they were all the same consistency in uh, pouring them down. So I'll get my gloves on and we'll see what we come up with. So I have my uh, split colors, black and white. I've never done split colors before, so this is going to be interesting. I have a lot of colors, a lot of different brands. I don't know how they're going to react with one another, and I don't even know if I have enough paint in each little cup. So this is going to be really, really interesting. This is the satin white that I'm putting down. And this is that rich art purple that comes from the Dollar Tree store. And next to the purple, I'm putting the green. I like the combination of green and purple. That didn't come out too well. And this is the manganese blue. and the gold. And that other iridescent blue from, uh, well, can't remember now. It's terrible not getting enough sleep. Every time I fall asleep, I get woken up to let the dog out. I have two doggy doors, so she comes in the other door, and I gotta wait for her to come back in the room. Figure out where she is. It's what an experience—a dog with Alzheimer's. And this is the Arteza something. You can tell I'm tired. Okay, I'm going to move these away and get that dryer and see how that works. I don't know about this color combination, so we'll see how that is as well. And I'm even going to wipe my gloves off to try and keep some paint off of this dryer. So I have it plugged in. This is the neat little dryer. And I'm going to start in the middle. I'm going to put a little more paint up here because I can't get that up far enough, I guess, because I didn't have enough paint on it. Uh, I didn't put paint uh, to blow over it first, so that might be the issue. I am forgetting all kinds of things. 
Uh, but doing this is helping me to remember uh, what I forget. I'm not that happy with this dryer. try it without that thing on the outside, but that's worse yet. I don't like that spot right there. Might have to do something with it. Yeah, got to do something with it. I'm going to put a little bit of the purple on the edge here to try, if there's any left, to try and blend with the blue. And some of this um, satin, white, a little bit of green. And see what happens. I just didn't like that spot there. Not happy with that dryer. Um, I think my black was a little too thin. Uh, the color combination, I like that. I don't like these blobs here. Maybe I can do a little messing up with it.
just trying to break that up a little. Well, I think I'm going to leave it at that and see how it dries. Um, it's kind of a big blob in the middle, and I think that's the problem with the dryer. I'm not sure. But I'll have to try something similar with a different dryer and see if I have the same problem. Thank you for watching, and if you have any suggestions to help with what I'm trying to do, or what you think about this and what different I could do, please let me know. I'd be very glad to hear your opinions. And you know how we always say, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get notifications when I upload a video. And I hope the next one will be a lot sooner than the last one. And again, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.